Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for some more Foundry. Uh, in the last episode, we finally got our freight elevator set up, and man, are they pretty freaking awesome. Um, I love, absolutely love the way that they uh, go through the ground. Like, they will mine out the... Uh, the terrain between the top and bottom sections that's pretty cool um, so you noticed as soon as I loaded in here that we have got this massive massive platform over here and this massive massive platform is labeled a smelting platform and my thought here is that we're just gonna keep expanding that platform as big as we need to build it uh, indefinitely it looks like we got plenty of area to spread off in that direction. A um, lot of water over that away. I've got uh, our Technum tapped here. I've got our Xeno tapped here. I've got our Stone tapped here. I've got that Igneum tapped there. Um, we'll probably end up tapping these two as well just so we have dedicated kind of steel production we also need to figure out how to get technum back over to the uh, to the science area um, I've started kind of sort of revamping the science area to start getting it ready for science um, uh, or, or I guess more accurately for science expansion so that we can just do all of our science production in this little uh, bowl valley that we were in and uh, yeah so we definitely need to get Technum run over here um, we are running into a serious issue in the science area that basically we're not going to be able to produce any more science because we don't have any Technum over there and we need that for tier 2 at the minimum uh, pretty sure we need it for tier 1 also but um, that's neither here nor there what our first objective is going to be here is getting uh, getting miners set up for the Xeno that we dug up right that's Xeno yep and then that's the Techno mine over there so we're gonna set up um, at least a couple lines of Xeno coming off of this and I think we need probably six well no it should be it should scale perfectly so four tier two miners, right? Not not miners. We want smelters. So we need probably six smelters, possibly. We're gonna leave a little bit of space so we have room for our belts and maybe room to walk, right? And we'll go ahead and bring it right up against the belt here because we don't need space to get around it. Three, what? No. Or no, it was eight smelters for a red line, so we probably need, what, half of that again? Twelve? Or do we need sixteen? Red line moves, or yellow line moves twice as fast as... A red line. 160 items a minute to 320 a minute. So this should technically support twice the twice the put through right so that should be 16 all on one line let's uh let's go for 16 see what happens what do we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 15 and 16 and then take and run our belt here do we want this to be the input or the output side hmm I'm thinking probably the input side and then we'll do the same thing on the other side or sorry the output side this is where the, the Xeno plate is going to come out so we'll do the same thing over here 
Is that right? Yep. Nope, one back right there. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Those lined up. Perfect. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. And did we ever actually bring that other Xeno line out? We did not because I ran out of slopes, but I happened to grab some while I was out back at the base trying to get everything that I needed here. Uh, we're going to make it? I think just. All right. You're going to go here. All the way down to there. And you are going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. <coughs> All right. So we've got our input belts. We've got our output belts, now we just got to put our loaders for input and output. This is our output side, so go to like this. And we'll do the same thing over here. Good, I can walk on the tops of these and it doesn't really affect my movement. Can I get them all? You. And you. No. Okay, that's our output. And now we need input. Uh, in in order to go in the same exact spots <sighs> on this side. Excuse me. You know, got room here that I can move. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Come over here and do the same thing on this side. And then it'll be just a matter of hooking up power, and we should be uh, set on two belts of Xeno coming out. Assuming my ratio is correct. I believe it is, but it is 100% uh, educated guess. Um, twice as fast belt should mean that the, the material makes it twice as far along said belt before you need to replenish, right? So we've got a 1632, that is two full belts of Xeno ferrite plates coming out. Um, I Did I grab more building blocks? No, I did not. Brr. Because I really kind of want to keep expanding this. Oh, for crying out loud, get out of the way. You're right in the way. Because I want to leave plenty of room for more Xeno production coming out of there on this platform for smelting. So if I need to, to, to make more belts of Xeno, I'll have the, uh, the the space capacity to do it on here. Um, alternatively, it looks like I almost have enough room here that I could run another line this away. But that would mean diverting those belts somewhere else um, so that they're not continuing on. 
because they can only carry a maximum of 320 items a second and I think that that's what these are going to output. Uh, in fact, we can probably check where is a smelter? Nope, doesn't say how quickly it smelts stuff. So it depends probably on the metal itself. We we'll look at our metallurgy. Um, tier one recipe. So two seconds, three seconds in a regular smelter. Three seconds in a regular smelter. Six seconds for steel in a regular smelter. Be nice to get those advanced smelters. Where are those at in our tech tree? Speaking of tech, we should probably work on some tech. Um, hmm. I want that. Oh, 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 oh. Um, that also reminds me <laughs> that we've got to do something real quick back over at the other, uh, over at the radio tower. So between episodes, I, uh, I went back to look at that radio tower again. As I think, I can't remember if you guys were here for it or not, but I had looked at the, the radio tower after we completed the repairs. And we couldn't do anything with it. It said, uh, uh, not enough power, right? So I was really confused because we were generating more than the adequate power that it's demanding. And the problem is that it just kept saying, there's not enough power, not enough power, not enough power. Um, so I went back and looked at it, and there's a, there, there's a, a solution to that built in. So you remember... Oh, well, I mean, you guys didn't hear it, but I'm pretty sure I brought you back at the start of the last episode with Carl talking about uh, repairing the uh, sales platform. I think it was a sales platform. Yeah, sales platform. Repair sales platform. Uh, there's a damn sales platform we can use to sell our products. We should repair it to attract our first customers. 2,000 construction materials, piece of cake. We got that. Power requirements, 10 megawatts. Uh, station requirements, whole emergency repairs. We did that. Downside, not enough problem, or uh, not enough power. So I started kind of looking around in here, and there are other things that we can do. So if I were to, say, add or repair the solar panels, it adds 10 megawatts. And then look, if you look here, the space station has zero available power. And that's where we're running into the power issue, is not our power availability, but the station's power availability. Uh, so we're going to start the research or the, the upgrade on solar panels as well. And that's going to take a little bit. Um, Got to wait for the drones to take all our stuff up to the station and, and, and make a repair. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go on back over here, actually, since we're over this direction. Since we're over here, we're going to go ahead and grab some, uh, some more foundation blocks, some building blocks, so that we can expand that platform even more. And I think that is going to be kind of the primary focus of the day. Whoa, where'd they go? Wow. That looks really cool. Ship's moving off in the distance. Yeah, I like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to probably spend most of our day over in that, that expansion area and trying to get uh, production set up, if not completely running, um, on all of our new items and our Dang it. Foundation blocks. That's why we came back here. And they're all the way back here. We flew right over the top of them. Alright, how many can I hold? I can hold them all. Let's just take them all. And we'll go back. Um, might be a little too... Oh, excuse me. Get the hiccups. Uh, might be a little too dark to see... Um, 
what I've really done over here. But basically, I've cleaned up um, some of the stuff underneath or underground and started expanding our science platform. That is all going to be, that probably this whole thing is going to be all one platform, just see you all the way through. And uh, we're going to use that entire area strictly for science production, I think. Although, I do have to do something about that Xeno mine that we bombed down to and haven't touched yet. And that's the last bit of resources. Well, I say the last bit of resources, but there's also the the uh, stone mine down there too. Um, but we've completely depleted the Xeno mine. We've completely depleted the Ignium mine. And... Uh, once the stone and that that new Xeno are completely depleted, that thing or that area is going to be completely free reign for whatever the heck we want to put over there. Uh, we're not going to be uh, covering over resources unless they're deeper than what we can reach right now. But I think even then, our our detector would still detect it and just mark it as unreachable. All right, so we just got a whole bunch more um, foundation blocks, and we're just going to spread this on even further. So I want as much space as we can get here. It took about a third of what we had. Alright. Um, do we want to keep expanding? Or do we want to maybe reserve say half of it? for boy we also got to get our stone over here and our stone is that way no stones that way so it looks like we may end up expanding the platform off this direction as well just so we have uh, a place for our stone to load in here. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. We don't have a whole lot of building blocks left here. And of course, it's going to be impacted by the belts and, and stuff like that. But, oh. Let me reach the end. Not quite. Um, so I'll have to dig out all the ground here. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that for off-camera, maybe. Probably. And we'll go ahead and get rid of these two blocks. Actually, we'll go ahead and get rid of all three. Well, get rid of those three. And we'll get rid of that one separately so we don't take out the ramps. And, all right. So, I know I want plenty of Xeno expansion here. I might actually go ahead and, do we have enough room here? We've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Need twelve blocks to set up another line here. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not quite. Not quite enough. We're just long enough to uh, to have capped that out, but not quite wide enough to 
um, to add another line on this side. Get out of the way. That one almost looked kind of like the xenomorph scorpion spider face hugger thing. Done it. Where to, where's another one of them? There. No. There. No. Yeah. And it, it's almost got the, the xenomorph uh, face hugger look to it. Definitely get a certain kind of vibe from it. Uh, Alright, so the alternative here is that we could take and move this whole thing over and um, and fill up our inventory with Xeno Ferrite. I don't really like the idea of that, but it's probably not the end of the world, actually. So, we're going to start right here. Oh, um, maybe we're going to start right here. And we're just going to delete all of this one fell swoop. two fell swoops. And we'll just replace it down here. Da, 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 da. Showing a little space. It looks like that one Actually, we should be able to just turn it right there. Okay. So, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No. Not there. Fifteen, sixteen. Put that back. Uh, we'll go ahead and run our output belts here. Or do we want to make those input belts now? We might want to make those input belts now. Okay. So these are going to be our input belts then. means they don't need to go terribly or don't really need to go past the uh, past the smelters themselves okay <coughs> and we'll just do this again all right in the right line yes Belts. I'm just gonna start right here. Put go that away, all the way out, and same on this side. Oop! I fail. Start there and just go all the way out. Now we didn't hook up power to this, so we didn't end up with a bunch of Xeno plate, which is really beneficial because. Then we can just, uh, no, uh, looks like we kind of need to add power. We'll just pop a little transformer right there. That should do ya. And of course, the transformer is going to need a different power supply. Uh, ba -ba -ba, transformer. We'll put you like that. We'll put a little power pole right next to you. Um, where's my... Oh, there it is. I should just be able to go bam to bam. And bam. And we should have power. 
Now we didn't hook up any inserters for a reason. Uh, uh, loaders, inserters, whatever you want to call them, because we're going to take and just... We cannot quick insert into the machine before you insert any following item. Well, what if I go like this? Take all of that. Thank you. Tell me you can't do it. Alright, so now that we've emptied all of that Xeno back out of our inventory, right? There's no more. Got a little bit of Ignium. Dirt seeds. But no Xeno ore. Wonderful. Now that we've done that, we can take in add our inserters back. Our loaders. Now get back there. We want these to be in. for that is going to be after we start outputting and running these belts somewhere. No, there man. Stop misplacing. Mis yeah. I guess Kind of is my input to do it, but still. Alright, there's output there. And. And output there. So we'll let those run for a little bit while we figure out what we're going to do with our Xeno, or our, our Technum, and how we're going to get that handled and up here onto this platform and where, kind of where we're going to end up smelling it, smelting it. We'll get that bit cleaned up. Um, we we'll probably do want at least two more smelting columns coming off of here, but I think right now we might be limited by belts, uh, belt space. So I have an idea for future smelting operations, and that's going to be basically um, we bomb out a big area off to one side of a mine that we can... Um, get miners kind of set up all around it and then just run it all to a freight elevator at one end and zoop, bring it up to, to ground level and we're good to go and it looks like these are still all functioning off of a full belt and that belt is staying full apparently with all the machines running so that is a good thing that's a very good thing um, I don't know that we want to tempt fate by seeing if we can add any more uh, production on that specific line. So let's uh, let's come down this way.
and see or maybe actually maybe we'll do this a little bit different so if we come back over here and we run just the basics of a of a smelting line here so we'll get two more lines coming out right We'll just use this for uh, space planning purposes. Okay. And you're going to be an input. You're going to go there. We're going to get a belt. It's going to go like this. And only to there. And we'll have another one like this, uh, same thing. And another smelter. Um, although I want you facing that way. You. I want facing the other way, like that. Okay. And we'll get another loader, your input. We go there and another belt to go there and you're an output right so output needs to continue on and doesn't need to be there these ones need to extend on this direction like so so that we've got somewhere to hook in a couple more lines, right? And so what that does is that gives us one, two, three, four complete smelting lines once we build these two out uh, for our Xeno plate. And then we the, maybe want to go ahead, eh, maybe we want to do that again. Maybe. They'll give us six complete lines for Xeno coming out and leave us room for technum here um, and then of course we gotta figure out how to get the uh, the mineral rock over here as well because I do want to um, try to keep all of our smelting centralized if that makes any sense so uh, we can just bring it all our resources right here and send them off to where we want them from this central hub um, so yeah, I might actually go ahead and do that. Um, so we want another belt, another inserter, another miner or smelter. No, not like that. Want you facing the inside, and your output line. followed by another output line, followed by another smelter facing inward, followed by an input, or sorry, output. Right, and that'll give me yet another belt going out. You're facing the wrong way. Why are you facing the wrong way? There we go. Okay. And so that'll give me belts going in here. And gives me now six potential production lines for, uh, for Xena going out. Okay, and we kind of want to do the same thing with, with Technum down here, right? And Technum looks like it's starting right there. Just bring it on up to the platform here, mostly. Okay, and again do kind of the same thing so these have been these ones are inputting into the center of the column right so 
we're going to do kind of the same thing here. So we're going to have another output line, another smelter facing in, an input line. Am I out? Am I out of loaders? Really? Uh, I did put down a whole bunch of them, didn't I? Um, okay. Well, that's not ideal. Uh, we also need more foundation blocks. Our inventory's got to be looking pretty ropey at this point. Eh. I mean, if we got all the all the junk out of it, it'd be eh, questionable. Anyways, and we got on another smelter. Let's see two just like that and then we need two more and two more like that up running short here okay um, what to do what to do what to do these are output these are input this is an output these are input are output and these are input okay um, sort that up yeah I don't have any first lane loaders anymore So that first Xeno line is starting to taper off because the machines down here at the end are full. 200 plates all the way down to all of them except for what the last four machines or the first four machines on that second line. So it gives me one, two th complete lines of Xeno plate coming out and uh, set up for four more. We want to, let's see, you, it's two, four, six, so you're the first input for the technum here. And we'll go ahead and make our 16, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, come on. Uh, it looks like we're going to be making a run back to the base. Get more stuff. Might need to increase our limits on the boxes that we have all this stuff going into. We're in on time. We're about 40 minutes in. So hopefully we'll have enough time to get over here, grab these, uh, let's see, more foundations, more loaders, more smelters. Um, and then we want to definitely expand that platform some more. We want to get the uh, the stone heading that way for processing. Although I think if we leave, I'm trying to try, trying to decide here, if we leave the smelting platform just as smelting, we don't necessarily need to get the stone over there. We'll need it for glass, um, but that's after it's already been crushed down into gravel. Gravel will give us glass. 
Um, how are we coming along on this? I wonder. Oh, look. That's a solar panel that we just fixed. Or are in the process of fixing. How we doing? Satisfaction. Good, good, good. What are you working on? Oh, we finished it. Um, can I get solar panel two? I could get solar panel two, get us some extra power. Um, 5,000 construction materials for the outer hole. But this is the one we need to work on. But then again, based on construction zones. So, that, so the more construction drones we have, the better, uh, the better construction drone bay that we have or repaired. Um, should actually make things process faster. We're going to go ahead and start that one. I think we're going to do that one before we do the other one. Maybe we'll do all of them before we do the sales platform. I don't know. Um, in any case, we've added the power that we needed to add. And we have started the next process. So let's uh, keep on going. Whoa. Uh, keep on going back over here and grab the loaders, smelters, and um, foundation blocks that we need. Now, foundation blocks might be a little bit of an issue as well because we don't have any Technum production over here either. The Technum production that we did have here was all coming from the science area, and that, that, uh, that Technum mine is completely depleted now. And so it's not supplying anything. Um, foundation blocks. Well, still got a full box out of them. Um, hmm. Let's see. Some of these things we can just probably lump over here. Can you hold any ore? Yes, you can. And can you hold any ore? Probably. Except you're not power, you're power. Do you hold any ore? Oh, yeah. Alright, so that should cover that. We'll dump all the junk stuff out of my pockets here. We'll go back and get those foundation blocks that we came over here for initially. Excuse me, belt. Alright, um, foundation blocks, go ahead and destroy, destroy, I don't like carrying these things around, I, uh, I'm sure they, they serve some purpose in the game, but not one that I am currently interested in, maybe someday, sort that back out, oh jeez, excuse me, hiccups are still prevalent. Uh, take all of those go find our loaders um, we're going to have to start exporting these I think because 50 at a time is not nearly adequate um, let's see 50, 53, 50 and we're only doing single lane loaders right now so we'll stick it with that um smelters 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 where are my smelters tier two drones smelters we'll just take y'all kind of wish we had more so we had is that it is that really all we needed foundation blocks we Still got some belts, so not very many. We might go grab a couple more stacks of those. And we'll go back over to the inserter thing here because we want more inserters. Much more inserters. Um, let's see, what else do we might we need while we're over here? Definitely don't need tier one miners. 
we're not putting down any miners currently. So another few of those probably wouldn't hurt. What else have we got here? We've got assembler, assembler two. We got assembler two, assembler twice. Oh no, those are storage over there, right? Yeah. Okay. And what are you making? Fluid assemblers. Well, that's storage for fluid assemblers. You are construction containers, cargo containers, logistic. That's the word I'm looking for. You're my fluid assemblers. Hmm. I don't know really if there's anything else over here that we need need right now. I'm not doing all you might yet. So don't really need chemical processors and distillation columns. Need pump jacks. Those will be future problems. And you're making the drones. And you're making casting machines. Those will be important for concrete, among other things. Alright, so let's go check on our loader situation over here real quick. See if we can't get another stack out of these. Yeah, we'll get about half a stack out of it. Really? Yeah, you didn't take. There we go. That's more better. Uh, so we'll get back over here and see what we can do about getting. Ah. Uh, my dog is snoring, growling, yelping, all in his sleep. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's uh, that's old Zeus. Is he done? Looks like his brother might have woke him up. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Uh, we're about on time now, 45 minutes, and it looks like our science is finally stalled out. That'll be uh, probably directly related to the lack of technum over there. So that needs to be kind of a... Uh, High priority is getting Technum back over to the uh, to the science production, and that is a long way. So we got our smelting platform here, 300 meters away, and we've got our landing location, which is 400 meters away that direction, almost 500 meters that direction. So about 800 meters, almost a kilometer between where we're going to be producing this stuff at and where we actually need it at. Uh, so it could be interesting. So let's go ahead and get this Technum line finished. How many do we have here? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. input lines, right? So we'll run this back this way. And we'll run this back this way. And we're going to stop on the very first of the two. And then 
this is a output line, so that needs to extend on this way. And go to right there. And do the same thing over here. Whew, thought I misplaced that for a second there. I did not. I thought I did. Alright. Set you, make sure you're set to out. No, I didn't want to go all the way to the ground. So I've uh, been watching um, somebody that I've been watching for years playing Factorio, and they're playing on a Death World. Um, I don't know how much familiarity you guys have with Factorio. Um, I, of course, loved the game um, for, for quite some time, honestly. Um, but I, I have a really hard time playing with the, uh, the aggression in that game. So most of the time I just turn off the, uh, enemy bases. Anyways, uh, the creator that I watch um, is having a, a rather interesting time trying to build a game in in, uh, in a Death World save on a game that is very much intended to not make things easy for you. Uh, oh yeah, we probably want to add some some line going in here, huh? Come back this way. Get to all those kids or cats. And I guess we'll just take and plop down a few more of these. Two, three, four. Take and just copy this whole situation. No, uh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Uh, let's see if we can scoot these out of block here. There and grab some outputs here. There, 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 and up we go. All right, and this will be a good test actually as to whether or not these belts perfectly support a smelting column. Uh, intended for this now intended for this uh, for this belt type so let's come on down here and see if that ore makes it all the way to the end of this this column on the right here it should I don't have any reason to doubt that it would um, other than uh, previous experience and and uh, miss understanding of how these things work Not necessarily how they work, but the ratio at which they work. But it is coming down the line. Watching all these smelters light up. You can see the, 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 the clouds coming out of the top of them, the smelting clouds. So four to go. Three to go. Two left. Oh, there it is. It's coming all the way down. 
And we got one more. One more. One more. Come on. You're almost there. Almost there. Almost make it. Yes, we can make it. All right. Uh, so that is good. We now have two Technum smelting lines. We have two Xeno uh, smelting lines. Now we got to go find the stone. Um, actually, can I get this to line up here? I can. That'll give me kind of an area to uh, to focus on my digging and see what we can do with this uh, with this space here in a little bit. Um, where are we at now? We are about 55 minutes, so I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, made some decent progress. We got uh, you know, two each of our smelting lines for Xeno and Technum. We've started the process with our radio tower for the next step. And... Uh, and we've got all of our mines over here tapped, although we did that uh, in the last episode, and, and I think I did some of it between episodes. But, uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, this will be a good stopping point for this video. If you are enjoying the video, make sure you leave a like. Leave some comments for me. Those are the things that drive the, uh, the YouTube algorithm and help me get a little bit more exposure. Tell other people that I am uh, worth watching. Um, if you are uh, enjoying our, our channel here, definitely hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell to be alerted anytime I put out new content. And, uh, and thank you guys again so very much for joining me, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.